Okay, we've just left this rhino doing a berth round him. We spotted something in the tree. In the fork there's something red, it's a kill of a leopard. We went closer to investigate and we just got a big growl from what must be a leopard hiding in the bushes there. So we don't want to go too close, we don't want to disturb it. But um, yeah, well, was his trousers. We're only <laughs> half an hour into the road and we've been growled at by a leopard and there's a rhino somewhere back there. So yeah, things are pretty hairy doing training out in the bush. Plus or ran past a herd of elephant back here in the thicket. So that's three of the big five on this run today. We're not even going that far, just 14 k's. We've got leopard, rhino, and elephant. Quite a hot day, 20 k's, but. Uh, 12 k's in at the moment, so having a little break with some race food, fast bar, nougat. Okay, it's um, about 15 k's into a 20 k run. It's a solo one today, unfortunately, but Pete's back in the UK trying to sort out his work permit. I think it's just an excuse to be lazy. Pretty cool. Biggest animal in the world right there. Well, land mammal, sorry. Well, once again, guess what? It's hot. Middle of the day. <coughs> Baking sun, not much wind. Uh, but a uh, good one. Feeling quite fit today. So, yeah, training paying off. Um, just a short run today, 10 Ks. It's been a bit of an up and down week. Pete's having trouble in the UK with his visa. I've had something wrong with the tendons under my feet, plantar fasciitis or goodness knows what, but far away from any orthopods out here, so tough to get a diagnosis. Okay, there we go. One of the most dangerous animals in the African bush. It's three big Cape buffalo resting out the heat of the day. Although they're not getting into the shade, so. Not particularly bright, but there's a nice water hole over there, which I'm sure they're going to wallow in later. They are watching me, so they know I'm here, so I'm going to carry on. Near a little riverbed here, quite shady, so it's always a chance of something else around, so got to keep the eyes peeled. That's why we always carry a radio, just in case. So those are a few snippets from training out here at Londolozi in the African bush. Never a dull moment. Time's getting tight now, it's only a month to go till the race. We're over halfway with our donation drive, but the clock is ticking. So get involved, support our cause, and let's see this thing through together.